Hello, my name is Cameron Holland at, from Cedar Hill Collegiate High School, and I'm here to interview Ms. Phyllis Stewart today. Today is October 24, 2015, and we are at the Cedar Hill Museum of History in downtown Cedar Hill. So what inspired you to work in the museum? Uh, just the fact that, um, you know, I kind of fell in love with the old part of Cedar Hill and could tell that we were about to get swallowed up by the big city and, and wanted to help, you know, preserve the old parts of town. How many years have you worked here? Well, I joined the Historical Society in the 1980s and um, for years we've been working toward getting a museum open and uh, then we had an opportunity to put an exhibit at the Old Red Courthouse in downtown Dallas. So that kind of inspired us to uh, get busy with the actual physical exhibits and, and uh, we were able to locate this, this space downtown after we moved out of Old Red. Okay. What is your favorite aspect of your job? Hmm. Uh, just um, that I get to meet a lot of different people and uh, kind of get to know them through, uh, you know, people that bring items into us. I get to learn about their their lives and their history and, and uh, get to research anything that that uh, piques my interest. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Sure. Thank you. How old is it? How did it get its name? Why did the early pioneers settle here? For the next few moments, we'll take a brief look at the origin and history of this hilltop settlement known as Cedar Hill. Postmaster here for about 20 years, and then he became Dallas County District Clerk in the 1800s. These are the Ramsey brothers, and this and this was the farm that they lived at when they first moved here. Uh, it out at High Point, right next door to the fire station. And uh, they were instrumental in establishing the Methodist Church here and uh, a lot of the businesses. Uh, it's from the Plains Indians. And these are actually uh, taken from artists drawings um, that were hired, the artists were hired by the Santa Fe Railroad and they, they had the artists go out west and paint what they saw to entice people to go west. Uh, this cook stove was given to us by the Rotens and it came from California, San Francisco in 1870 by wagon. Um, and you put the coal or wood in this area and the ashes fall down in the drawer and that's how you empty the ashes out. Uh, this just tells about how we were established. Uh, the, the Hart family gave the square to the city for um, in hopes of having a, a maybe a courthouse there, but of course we didn't become the the county seat, but uh, when the railroad came in, they laid it out and, it, and the whole town developed around it. Uh, these are items from the T.A. Bray store, which is now Stacia's Dance Studio. And this is Houston Street Outfitters. If you look out the window, you would look at Bates, which used to be, the, of course, the city hall. These items were found in the livery stable with a metal detector. This old tin building is still in existence across uh, the street from Bays, and the blacksmith used to be uh, on a lean-to right there attached to the building.